Hello everyone, welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Here we are with part number seven. So, where we last left off here, we beat a boss and all that. So now it is time to fully explore these catacomb areas right now. Now, exploring fully this area is not completely necessary right now, but it's pretty fun, pretty easy, so why not do it, right? Anyway, we're bringing up this over here so that we can block off the water, and you'll see exactly what it does to these spear guards. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh no, blah, 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 blah. drown. Yeah, go. Yeah, well, that's some pretty good revenge considering all the times they're gonna spike us over and over again. So, yeah. Anyway, frog here, and yeah. You can decide to kill some of the fish here if you wanna farm a quick uh, level up. Um. I don't always think that that's necessary though, and we'll be uh, farming up off the fish uh, soon enough. Knuckle Duster is not that great uh, from my experience with it, but um, maybe that's just me. Um, so this wooden bridge, you may think there's some way around it. There is not. There's only a way through it. So uh, we'll uh, get to that point when we can get to it, but we're not there yet. So. Um, we first have to get all the way to the end of this, uh, thing, and pull off a little trick to get it. We have to fly at that point, but we don't have the bat, so, uh, we're gonna have to wait till we have the bat so we can get through there. And the reason is for, you know, basically that's a new area to explore. Um, uh, two new areas, in fact, so, yeah, um, and you're gonna need to explore those areas unless you plan on pulling off some tricks in order to get, um, some special stuff. Anyway. We're going to grab this pentagram that's basically a little screen nuke, so that's pretty useful. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of useful things here. Here we have a waterfall, so you need to duck into the waterfall as fast as possible and grab these secret boots. The secret boots don't do much, but they will, um, you know, they will increase Alucard's height discreetly by one pixel. So that's certainly something, isn't it? <laughs> uh, anyway. So, you may notice we're taking a decent bit of damage, but, you know, um, that's not important because we're going to get ourselves a life up here, which is a complete health refill, so that's pretty great. Okay. Now that we did that, we gotta just jump our way out of this place, uh, fast. Uh, okay, can't quite get the mushroom there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, not much else to say on that front. We have to now fight these enemies, though. Um... I suppose doing the catacombs now was not at all necessary, um, just considering the fact that, you know, um, we could be doing this later on, but I feel like now is a good time. Um, you can actually defeat nearly, well, basically, you know, can conquer nearly all of the catacombs in one fell swoop. Nearly. Not entirely, but, you know, pretty close to it. Okay, so now we're getting paddled on across uh, this area. Look out for the bats, you know, if you need to wolf transform, then uh, make sure to do that. Duck under some stuff and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, I always wonder why the familiars soak up so much magic. It's just a little irritating. You know. Wah. Well, entertain yourself while this all happens, so you just gotta get across this area. And what we unlock is actually a thing about the fairy man here. So this uh, mer merman statue, um, merman card, basically, uh, summons this guy um, whenever we need him. So, no, not whenever we need him, but it summons him, like, some of the time and everything. So, yeah. Anyway, around here there's some interesting and useful upgrades, so uh, we're going to need to be coming back here rather soon, you know. Um... But a lot of that's probably just going to happen once we have the bat transformation, because the bat is really what breaks a lot of the game here. It's not like, you know, super awesome, like, for example, the shield rod is combined with, like, the Alucard shield, but it's not like that kind of game breaking, but it's, uh, it really just opens up exploration so much, so that's pretty useful. Okay, so we're going to go back through here, and this is kind of how we're Getting back to the main area a decent bit. So, jump on here, down goes the gate, and up goes our life. So, that's useful. And you may recognize this area from the beginning of the game. And indeed, that is what this is. There are actually some useful things around here, but we can't grab most of them yet. 
So, uh, what we're stuck doing is killing some zombies with the power of our fists. Uh, punch the face. Punch the face, zombie. Haha, uh, punch the face. Ha. Yeah. Oh no. You steal. Haha, uh, holy well. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe these zombies are still doing three damage at my level, you know? Like, what the hell? But of course, they started off only doing one damage, but that was because we were early game, you know? It's also nice to finally be able to get some stuff from these candles. Anyway, here's where Death stole our stuff. Um, or didn't, if you pull off the trick right. Uh, that's a pretty difficult trick to pull off on the 360 version, though. At least in my experience, I've never actually done it. Um, but it just looks like a real hassle with, their, with like the Neutron Bomb trick. Or with, you know, um, and those other ones. Anywho, um, but we're back to here, and we're going to save our game still. Um, this is a useful area to be in because um, we're going to be headed over to the... Uh, to the second area where we see the jewel open. So that's what you can look forward to next part. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Stay tuned. I'll see you then.